What's up, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through several different AdWords optimization strategies that you can implement on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis to make sure your campaign flies a straight and narrow and is always producing leads at a reasonable cost. All right, all right. So... Today we're going to go over a few optimization strategies for your AdWords campaigns. And this is really, guys, just going to be like 30,000 foot high level view. So don't come at me in the comments and be like, oh, this is like easy stuff. It's just stuff for people who just want to get affordable leads pretty much, all right? This isn't like super advanced, anything like that. This is just the basic stuff you have to do in order to run like a successful AdWords campaign, all right? So and those four things we're going to be going over are keyword bids and adjustments, Add text adjustments and um, ABE optimization testing. Device bids, very, very important. A lot of people overlook that. And adding and negativing out crappy keywords and good keywords. Adding in the good keywords. So let's, take, let's dive right into it. Today we're going to be in the white label PPC campaign. So I'm going to have to go to all time data because this thing's been sporadic. We've been throwing it on and off. So what you should be doing with these optimizations are making them on a every seven days, 14 days or 30 days. Obviously we you know you should be doing them every seven days if you're committed to it. but if you're if you have a small budget and only spending a couple you know 10, 20 bucks a day, then you're gonna have to get more data to optimize so it's better to do it every 14 days. But if you're getting traffic then you should definitely be doing this every seven days. Excuse me. All right, so let's get right into it. We're into our campaign here. We're in the overview tab. You can see here we got our quick hit stats. First things first, we're going to keyword bids. So I guess for this example, we're going to have to switch our bidding strategy because I think it's on auto bid right now. Where's that manual? Oh, that's manual. All right, cool. Okay, so optimization tactic number one, adjusting your keyword bids. So we'll go into the keyword tab. And we're at the campaign level of the keyword tab, and we're just going to sort by clicks. You can see here, and we're going to look at our columns here. These are very important. If you don't have these columns and you don't see them, <clears throat> you can easily add them by coming up here, modify columns, click here, you drop down, and you just click whatever boxes you want to see, and those will populate in your columns. Same thing with competitive metrics, search impression, share, and you said apply. It's really easy. These are the columns that you want to be working off of, most important ones. Okay, so let's look at the data here. We got we got some good clicks here. So we're bidding forty dollars a click here, three clicks, twenty impressions, excellent click through rate, fifteen percent. Ideally, you want to have your click through rate above two point five percent. Okay, anything below that, just pause it and redo it. There's no just gonna it's not good. You want to always be above two point five. This is this is great. We want to live right here. That's where we want to be. All right, so three clicks, two conversions, $50 leads. I love it. Quality score is good. I'm going to jack this bit up a little bit. Just do it a couple bucks. Just do it as do two bucks. Three clicks, nine impressions, no leads. I'm going to take this down a little bit. Take it down to 24. So we're going to decrease that. It's not converting. Obviously, guys, this is I know it's very limited. There's only a couple clicks here. But it, it's this is a lot easier to do when you have like 43 clicks, you know, 53, 23, whatever, and you can you'll have a bigger data set to look at, but we're doing the best we can with what we got here. So I'm sure you'll understand the idea. You're going to upbid your winners, you're going to downbid your losers. Really, really simple stuff. And the rest are just not enough data to do anything. So that's the key takeaway from optimization tactic one with your keyword bids is to increase your bids on your winning keywords and decrease your bids on your losing keywords. Okay, very simple. Next thing we're going to do is go into ad text. So let's go to ad group and we'll just take it down at ad group, one ad group at a time. Then you come up here to ads and extensions and use all your ads for that ad group. You can see here all our clicks can't one to one ad converting at 80%. 17.86 click-through rate. This is great. I'm not going to touch anything. Don't have enough data yet, but let's say this had five clicks, four conversions, and uh, this one had the same stats, five clicks 
and um, no conversions. All right, so and, and this one had five clicks and two conversions. So you, you can see here we're gonna pause the we would pause the loser, and we would just let the let the two winners run against each other. And if this one wasn't doing anything, we just pause it. So that's very important to understand. Really simple optimization tactic number two: add text optimization. You're just gonna pause the losers pretty much. I mean. Obviously, you want to pause based on your conversion rate. Don't pause based on just click-through rate, okay? I've seen people do that before where they're like, oh, well, this ad has a 17% click-through rate, and this one has a 4, but this one's converting at 33%, and this one's converting at 11%. No, 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 no. The whole, the whole name of the game here is to get leads. So we want the, the higher – optimize always based on conversion rate, okay? Very important stuff. So key takeaway, pause your loser ads. And um, create, replace them with a new, with new ad copy, and just test and tweak some different ad copy. Make sure it's different. Don't just keep cloning the same one over and over again. Okay. So next, we're gonna go into device bids. Let's go back to the campaign level. I'm gonna come down here to devices, and you can see here you have a couple options: computer, desktop traffic, mobile, or I'm sorry, tablet traffic, which is just like iPad, Android stuff, like the tablets. And mobile phones, obviously, self-explanatory. You can see here we negative out, basically turned off mobile traffic for this for this campaign because we don't want any of that. So what we do here is just look at the data. We got 16 or 18 clicks here, six conversions. That's just killing it. So you can see here we, we bump the bid up. And now we can go a little further. We're gonna bump up the winners. And if say this, obviously there's enough data here, but say the tablet traffic was uh you know 13 clicks and no leads or something like that. We would obviously come in here instead of increase, you would go to decrease, and we decrease by ten percent or five percent or whatever. I, I, this is just my personal opinion, but when adjusting device bids, I always go by five percent increments. So one week I'll I'll look at it and I'll say, all right, decrease five percent, and if it's still doing shitty the next week, I'll decrease another five percent. So it's you know you get what I'm saying. Like it's so if you eventually you're just gonna keep decreasing, and if it's not converting. And if, it's, if it hasn't sent any leads in 30 days, just turn it off. At least that's what I do, and it seems to work well. So, I mean, like I said, there's there's a million ways to skin a cat. All right, so tactic number three, optimization, is uh, device bids. Now, one of the most important ones that a lot of people don't even do here is keywords through your search terms. All right, so what are search terms? You're going to find them over here. So we're going to we're coming in at the campaign level. So you can get the campaign checked here. We're in overview. We're going to come right down to keywords. And right up here, there's your negative keywords, and here's search terms. Very, very important tab. Okay. So, what is a search term? Search term is basically the actual search query that the user typed into Google that triggered your ad to show. Okay. So, and you can see here we have a couple columns. We have the match type that triggered it, and whether we added it or excluded it, you can see we already did this. So, I'm not really going to go through it, but I'm just going to show you high level what we did here. So these are these were keywords that we were not currently bidding on, but that somebody searched in our ad triggered because of a modified broad match keyword we were using or something like that. So what what you do is we say, okay, wow, we got we got three leads from these from these two keywords here and we're not even bidding on them. So we want those. So you're gonna check those, add as keyword, and then you can do the match type here, which I always add Keywords as exact match first to see how they do. Do not add them as broad match because that's the default. And exact match is right here, it's just the brackets. And then it automatically drops them in the correct ad groups. So I would hit save and then you just added those keywords that were converting that you weren't currently targeting to your ad groups. All right. Next, we're going to come down to. So this one sent a lead, but it's a software management. So we're a service. We're not a software. So what we would do is we don't want anything with software in it. And the lead's probably a fluke. I have no idea. But either way, we don't want software. So what you would do is we take software uh, root root uh, keyword out of that. Come up here to our negative column. Add, and you can add to campaign level. And we're gonna phrase match software negative. Now why phrase match? Because when you use a phrase match on a negative, you're telling Google, I don't want my ad to show if the word software is anywhere in the search query that's being typed into Google. Okay? Go back over to search terms. Now, let's say um, 
I mean, the rest of these keywords are really on point. Let's say we had an, a keyword down here that was like uh, local SEO services, okay? What you would do for that, let's just say it's this keyword, and I'm just using this as an example to show you how to add a negative keyword from your search terms report. So we want to we want to negative that keyword out. We don't ever want to see that keyword again. We don't want to pay for it. It's a waste of money. So what you would do is check the box. You come up here, add as a negative keyword, and it automatically adds it as exact match. And you just do it at the campaign level, or you can add to a negative keyword list or ad group. But for this example, it's it's always important just to do campaign level, campaign level, and you hit save, and that adds that as a negative keyword to this campaign. So your ads will never show for it again. All right, so really powerful stuff. Like I said, 30,000 foot view. There's a lot of different ways to, and, and <coughs> excuse me, and more in-depth optimization strategies that we implement, but that's for another, another video, another time. So if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up if you can. Share, share it on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. And uh, we really appreciate that stuff. Make sure you check out the links in the description. We put one to our Facebook group. And, uh, there's a free ebook guide in here where I kind of oh, go over some more optimization strategies. It's it's a great reference guide to download and have for when you're optimizing your, your campaigns or your clients. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the group or the next video.